Hey everyone, welcome to this video in which we will see how we can create this visual using the new KPI card. So before we start, let's break down the components of this visual. This has the total sales and then a card chart that shows how much of target we have achieved in the month. And down below, we also have the exact percentage we have achieved. This is the target value for the month. And then we have a shortfall amount basically target minus sales. Finally, we also have a growth measure that shows how much percentage of sales has improved or decreased when compared to the previous month. If we will select month of April, we can observe that the Unicare is tilting downwards with a negative sign and is highlighted in red, which means the sales has somehow decreased by 10% compared to previous month. So now we will see how we can create this visual. Uh, we can directly uh, bring the new KPA card from the visual gallery. And we can also pull in the total sales measure under the data field. Let's now uh, play around the formatting options of this card. So go to format pane, expand size and style and turn off the background. Let me also change the height and width of the cord to 235 and 400 respectively. We can now uh, close this and then expand shape and change it to rounded rectangle and reduce the rounded corners pixel to 10. Close this shape option and now we can expand the callout to format the values. Reduce the font size to 22. Change the value color and keep display units to none so that the values are completely visible. We can also bold the uh, label values and change the color. Now close the callout option and we can now expand the reference label to add the references in the card visual. Select the data and click on add data to bring in monthly target. And then we can similarly bring in the shortfall amount and then the shortfall percentage. Now we can select the monthly target label under the select label option and change the content to custom. I'm adding a colon to show a difference between label name and the value. We can also change the label color and expand the value section, uh, make it bold and change display units to none. Similarly, we can now select the shortfall amount under select label, change content to custom, add a colon and then change the color. Again, expand the value section, change the font color and change display units to none. And we can also bold the values. Okay, perfect. We can do a similar thing to the shortfall percentage as well. So we are adding the semicolon just to show a difference between the value and the uh, label name. So when it comes to the value of the shortfall percentage, we can do a conditional formatting based on a field value. So we can select the field value under formatting option, expand meshes and select the shortfall percentage color and then click OK. So what this does is it keeps the positive values in green and negative values in red. Uh, let me now uh, close the reference label and expand the cards. So here we can uh, turn on the shadow to make it look better. And we can also turn on the accent bar and change the color and increase the width to five pixels. So we can uh, now uh, bring in the uh, gauge visual from the gallery. Yes, let's add in the total sales in the value field 
and monthly target in the maximum value field. So now we can uh, switch to the format pane, expand size and style, turn off the background and collapse it. Turn off the title, data labels and the callout value. So now expand the colors and fill the color of your choice. Let me now uh, resize this and align it properly uh, inside the card visual so that it is uh, properly fitting inside the card. Yes, this now looks fine. Uh, we can also bring in the uh, target achieved percentage. So uh, this will uh, probably be in a card and we can go to the format pane and turn off the background for this card. Expand the callout value and decrease the font size to 15 and we can also uh, change the color so that it goes in accordance with the gauge visual. Let me also turn off the uh, category label. Uh, resize this and place it in center of the gauge visual. Perfect. Finally, let's bring in the sales growth percentage and icon. So uh, this is a small measure that is uh, concatenating the growth icon and the sales growth percentage. Bring in this inside the canvas. Um, we can uh, go to the uh, format pane again and turn off the background. We can also uh, decrease the font size to 9 and format this color based on the sales growth color field value. So expand measures and select sales growth color and then click OK. Let me also uh, turn off the category label and then we can now resize the card and place it next to total sales. So when the months are changed uh, in the slicer, if we will select April, we can observe that the growth icon and values are changing in accordance with the value. We can now place this visual anywhere in the uh, dashboard along with various other different uh, reference labels based on the uh, different kind of KPIs you are working with. So with this, we are uh, done with the video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Power BI Studio and stay updated with many more tricks like this.